Congratulations on your new Montana fifth wheel, you guys. I'm gonna show you some of the basics. This is a 377 FL Montana. So I'm up in this front compartment here. We've got our battery disconnect switch located back there. That battery switch is to power up the camper. You wanna turn it on the power position. There's an on and off to that. This is your deep cycle battery, which is located underneath there. And those are your steer jumper ports. You can see we got our battery power already on because we got lights to the camper. We are plugged in as well. This is your controls to power your hydraulic, excuse me, your electric jack system. To power this on, simply push in the corner. You can power these up and down. Um, you can retract these. You can auto level the camper by simply pushing here. You can control the individual jacks or retract all. You've got a propane tank on either side of the camper. Righty tighty closes the tank, lefty loosey opens the tanks. Your pass through storage, nice big compartment there with some lighting. This is your docking station, you guys. Up top there, we have your exterior shower. This is your water heater bypass. That's used when you want to bypass the hot water heater so you don't want to run any water through it so when you're winterizing the camper. That is your winterization system where you hook a hose into to pump antifreeze to the system. When you want to hook up to your city water connection by bringing a hose through here, you just run that up to there, hook that up. This is where you hook up to flush your tank. This walks through the operation of the docking station. These are your low points. These simply drain the tanks, so any water that's in the tanks will get drained out. When you go to fill your tanks, you just put it in the fill position for your ta onboard tank. When you want it to flow for your city water connection, flip that over to the normal flow. Your gray tank is located underneath here. Guys, I'm gonna walk you around the outside of this camper. Back here, we have an additional set of steps and your 50 amp power cord. Your black and gray tank valves are located behind there. They are remote valves on cables, so you simply pull those. We do give you the 25 foot 50 amp power cord and the electrical adapter, which converts from 50 to 30 amp as well. We're walking around the outside of your new camper here. Got a big storage trunk back here in the back. Additional storage on this side. Your hot water heater on this one is gonna be operated from the inside. But I'll just show you a couple things behind this door. This is your pressure relief valve. That just lets you know that water's in the tank. Down here is a 7 8 inch anode rod. That is a plug for your hot water heater. You do wanna periodically replace those. The hard weather elements attack those tanks. Behind here, we have an auto changeover valve. Let's open this up for you. This auto changeover valve, notice the green valve that's up there. That just lets you know there's propane flowing through the lines. When that turns red, it indicates there is no propane. Whichever direction this is selected in is the direction that the propane is flowing from. Once again, righty tighty, lefty loosey to open that up. Okay, let's take you inside your brand new RV. Okay, you guys. We're gonna walk you around in here. I got the air conditioning running, so it's nice and cool and comfy when you guys come into your brand new camper. Right here is your docking station. This is where kind of everything happens. This is where you turn on your hot water heater, your gas electric for your hot water heater, your fresh water tank heaters, if you want to turn those on. If it's cold weather camping, these are the buttons that slide out your various slide outs, and this is your button for your awning. This just lets you know your solar panel is throwing current to your battery and is charging. This control is your ceiling fan control. That's uh, for our ceiling fan, which is located right up there. Your hose connections for your, your um, onboard vacuum system. I'll walk you around this real quick. Your remote control for your TV. When you go to pop up your TV, this is your push button that allows you to pop your TV up and down. Fireplace, real simple controls. If you look real close here, this simply powers it up. This allows you to control the temperature, the color, powers it back off. The third button was the timer. Okay, let's walk you towards the back. We got a fire extinguisher down here for code requirements. Make sure you're safe. Let's hope you never have to use that. 
Refrigerator, pretty basic operation. Whoops. You've got a water filter, which is located underneath that panel. This adjusts your temperature settings for that refrigerator. Real simple operation on that. This is your stove. This is a backlight button to backlight your stove. When you want to go to ignite your stove, all you have to do is turn this over to the flame. You'll see it turns red. Simply twist that and it'll ignite. Back here, you guys, you have a ground fault plug. This ground fault plug back the green light indicates that it is operating properly. There's a push button in the center of that. If that turns red or no color, you want to push that to uh, reset the breaker. Keys are located around your kitchen faucet. Your thermostats are real straightforward. They're a simple to toggle through menu. All you have to do is push this button here, it illuminates. Push it again, fan controls, auto. Push it again, goes to heat. Push it again, gas, and that shuts it off. Want your air conditioner back on, kick the fan mode, you just scroll through there. We have air conditioning on high now, and then we can adjust the temperature up and down. This controls your fan, which is located above there. LED lighting switches are controlled from here. This is your carbon monoxide detector. It just lets you know if there's ever gas leak. It acts just like a smoke alarm. This is your wonderful little loft. This does have motion sensor lights on your steps, so at night those will illuminate automatically. Your bathroom. Foot flush for your toilet. You guys, those are just some of the basics on your new Montana fifth wheel. Please don't hesitate to give me a call. If you have additional questions, we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have in regards to your new Montana. We do appreciate your business, and thank you, and have a great day.